right, everybody. In this video, I want to go over the launch C Reader Elite 2.0. This is going to be the predecessor to the Seed Reader Elite, which I already have a video on. If you want to check that one out, it will be over here. Now, this tool was sent to me by launch about two weeks ago, and I have been testing it out. Um, well, not launch, sorry, by King Bolin. Now, this tool surpasses some of my other scan tools that I do have, but it also lacks in some areas as it is a smaller scan tool. So it's limited, its functions are limited. All right, but that doesn't mean it is not a powerful tool. Now, in order to get started with any type of scan tool, the first thing you're going to want to do is take the OBD2 plug, which is going to be right here. Locate where your OBD2 plug is onto your vehicle. In North America, it's going to be on the left-hand side, maybe on the right-hand side on some vehicles, but most of the time, you're going to find them on the left-hand side of your vehicle. And we're just going to plug it in. Now, from there, the tool is actually going to start at an auto ID without even touching anything. So that is a very good feature that even some of my other tools do not have. So for this tool to have that at such a lower price range, uh, I believe this tool is about $250 or $300. Um, it really shows Launch's commitment to giving good quality tools that speed up your diagnostic process. All right, so this is for this vehicle. But before we get into the vehicle, the first thing I want to do is just, I just want to back out. I want to go over what the home screen is. So the diagnose button is where we're going to do all of our diagnostics. So that is going to be for the vehicle that you have in your bay at this time, or even the vehicle that you have at home at this time. So from there, all we have to do is press the diagnose button and it's going to either select auto detect or we're going to take and select the, vi the vehicle that we have in our bay. Now, this one right here is powered for Kia and Hyundai vehicles. Right, but don't let that fool you. I will get to that in a little bit. Um, this tool can do a lot more vehicles than just Kia and Hyundai, all right? So let's go to back. So from there, we're gonna have the OBD2, which is gonna be all functions that are OBD2 compliant. So basically just uh, read live data stream and give you your mode six and your mode uh, nine data and stuff like that. Um, the upgrade button is where we're gonna go and find all the updates that are gonna be available for the software we have installed onto the tool. So the next step before we go to the mall, we have to go into our settings. Now from there, we have to find our network. That when you first get this tool, they are going to take and ask you to connect to a network so you can do all your uh, your updates. All right. I'm already connected or I have already connected to the network once. So I'm just going to connect again. Now we're going to go back. Now, if you don't connect to the Internet, you won't be able to get into the mall. So now that I'm connected to the Internet, we can get into the mall. Sometimes it bugs out. So just keep that in mind. So warning code two invalid address. So we're just going to back out. We're going to try again. And this time it's letting us go in. All right. Now, from there, this is where we can purchase resets that we need. All right. And they have quite a bit in here. All right. The price is pretty much the same on all the resets. All right. They're about $55 Canadian. Uh, they do give you American prices down here. But as you can tell, there is quite a few resets. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so where was I? Yes, the mall. So all your resets are here. Now, if you don't, if you're using a tool and you know that there should be a reset available for let's just say ABS bleeding, if you're, when you're into the ABS module, but it's not there, you're gonna have to come in and you are gonna have to purchase the ABS bleeding um, reset in order to perform that. Now, some manufacturers give it to you, some don't. Um, launch, I guess it depends on which vehicle you're working on, if you're actually gonna be able to get it or not, all okay? right? But that gives you all your resets that you can physically get for, let's just say an $800 scan tool, all right? So this is the resets that you will typically get, all right? Now, passenger vehicle, this is where we can actually come in and purchase different uh, protocols for, let's just say, Audi, Volkswagen, uh, or, um, Porsche, uh, GM, Dodge, all right? So this one is primarily loaded for Kia and Hyundai, but I also bought the GM one just to see if it actually worked, and it does. So if you do have a vehicle that you wanna work on, 
um, and you don't have that protocol loaded, you're not going to be able to work on it, all right? Or you won't get all the special functions that you need. So from there, let's go into the di diagnose. As I said, when you take this tool, you plug it in, it's going to auto detect. So we can just auto detect this vehicle which is a 2016 Kia Sorento it's not the fastest at loading up the vehicles from what I found but for what the tool is uh, I could deal with the speed of it okay so we're just gonna press ok now what I do like is that if there is an a US model a Canadian model a Mexico model a Jap Japanese model launch will actually tell you uh, to choose which area that this vehicle is actually in right now now you do have to be careful because don't forget you can import and export vehicles so you could be getting a vehicle that you think is a Canadian model and it's not actually a Canadian model so here we have a Canada model click OK and we're gonna go here now from there what this automatically does is that it actually scans every single module that is available onto the onto the vehicle so you can just sit back and wait for it to find those specific modules. Now, you do have to be careful with this because if the module is offline, it might say that there is either no communication or that the module is not present. So you do have to be careful with that, okay? So I'm going to pause you guys here. I'm going to let this go through to speed up this video a little bit. All right, it's been about, give or take, 45 seconds. And the scan is almost done. All right, so here it will tell you which modules have codes and which ones don't. So as we see right here, it says normal, normal, normal. So there are no fault codes into this vehicle. All right, so what we can do from there is just press on this. And you're going to see that there's nothing there. So we can go back one. And now it's going to bring us to this screen where it says diagnostic trouble codes. Now, this is the area where you have to actually use it in order to get into the those modules in order to see any type of special functions or anything that could be available. So... Let's just go into the ABS. Now, if you click on this area, you'll see nothing happens. All right. What you actually have to do is come over here and click on this little area that has a little arrow. Now, from there, we have special function and actuation test. So special function, HCU air bleeding mode. So you see with this one, I don't need to purchase the added uh, reset function because it is in here. The reset function is typically will just guide you to where you need to go but if you know how to navigate the tool you should be able to find it okay now now that but you might also need that reset function okay so as we see here actuation test you can see i got quite a few actuation tests also all right so typically whatever the an 800 dollars scan tool can do this little guy can do all right so i'll just give you an example of that let's go to the smart key uh, SMK, where are we? This is me that I'm just being blind. SMK smart key unit. So we come in here. We can actually come down to special function and we can actually neutralize the ECM. We can uh, smart key code saving. We can do a bunch of stuff, which is like an antenna status check. Okay, so that checks the antenna that's here. All right, it checks the antenna that's over here, it checks the antennas at the doors, and it also checks the antenna at the trunk, if, the, if you have one. All right, so as I said, this little tool, for what it is, can do everything that an $800 scan tool can do, but it's geared towards a specific uh, manufacturer instead of being a global tool. All right, so, but that's it on this little tool. My, like I said, my first thoughts on to it were, oh, it's just going to be a little cheap OB2 scan tool. But honestly, this little guy right here uh, really does uh, quite a bit for the price. So they have ones out for Audi, GM, Mercedes, um, Hyundai, Kia, Ford, so which is geared pretty much just towards one manufacturer. But you can internally upgrade a tool to meet your needs which is something that i do like because i don't work on a lot of uh, audi and volkswagens or mercedes i deal more with uh, the american cars right now uh some some weeks i do some weeks i don't so it really does depend but for what i need right now this tool i can upgrade it to what to suit my needs and go from there um 
so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i hope that if you were looking for a little low budget uh scan tool that you can do a lot of resets and functions with that this video helped you out and as always i will see you guys next time